Hey Easterlingers, hope you're having a good day. So today I'm painting, and I'm doing something a little different. I'm painting the nymphs, but just the leader, and she's primed in matte white. Usually I print, I print, I paint the leader and the minions at the same time in a mob, but I decided that I want to do a little something different because I wanted to use uh, speed paints and army painter stuff on the leader, and then some contrast paints on the minions. Plus, I found that they were a little different uh, in their, 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 anyways, just the models were a little bit different. So what I do here is I take a little bit of purple tone and mix in a little bit of wash medium, uh, just to really lighten it down. I didn't want it dark purple, I wanted a nice light purple. And then we're using purple alchemy and I mixed in about 50-50 of speed paint medium here. So this is a speed paint, uh, this purple alchemy, it's got a pinkish hue to it. And with the uh, medium in it, it actually lightens it down a little bit more. Because normally this is a bit darker, this purple alchemy. Uh, but I wanted her hair to be more of a pinkish color. And it's kind of hard to find a pink contrast or a pink, anything that's really pink. I mean, I could have just painted it in a really light pink, but... Uh, this worked out better plus I want to try and speed paint again when you're doing mobs you're doing like batch painting you want it to go fast so I only painted her and then I painted the uh, minions separately you'll see that video coming up uh, usually in probably the next day and uh, and the link will be showing up as well at the end of the video for you to watch that one as well if you want uh, holy white now we're doing this on her robes uh, like the major part of her robes or the main part and we're gonna be doing this on her wings as well now the holy white you gotta really shake this because otherwise all the pigments are at the bottom and you get just gray a really dark gray so make sure you mix that really really well uh, and just spread it over her wings nice and gently not too thick so that you get exactly what you want as an effect and this holy white does a good job on white you can dry brush some white on top of it if you want after just to really pop out the uh the detail all right now we're going to move on to the crest here we're going to use some hive dweller purple uh, and that's the only part we're going to be using this purple on as you can see again the white just pops out with nice little highlights there crusader skin now for her skin of course so that's her arms her face and uh, there's nothing else popping out of this miniature, uh, just her hand there that's near the snake. Uh, so just be careful with that. Slaughter Red now we're doing for the entire snake and we're going to be putting on some nice little details on that snake a little later on. Uh, but just be careful again not to hit anything else on this miniature. This snake does twist and bind within her body so you have to take a look of where it goes. I think there's a part where I wasn't even sure if that was a snake and then it is. Can you kind of look at it? And there's another part that just comes out of her dress. It doesn't seem to go anywhere else. I don't know. It's, it's interesting how this snake is intertwined around her and uh, the snake has a very dark red skin on the artwork so I figured let's do this slaughter red with it as well and don't forget the underbelly there and then we're going to move on now to sand golem just to do that spear so this is like a yellowish brown color this is really awesome for the spear and then we're gonna fix that tip a little later on with a little something more and then we're gonna use some combat gold or bright gold if that's what you have because this is from the zombie side invader paint set uh, but it's their equivalent of bright gold in their war color metallics and so we're doing her helm with this and as you can see it's very very watered down like it's very uh, light so you got to put on a couple uh, little but on top of that sand golem though it does a great job but we have to put a few layers on this and very gently so you don't lose any of those uh, details right you don't want to miss anything there and also all these little like gem like or like almost like confetti style things you do some random ones here and there because I'm going to put some other colors on the other ones, but you do what you want. Some glitter green, as I was saying, we're going to do some more of those and then just this one part on the helm. Hydra Turquoise now, we're doing the underbelly of the snake and we're going to do these really cool lines like it has in the artwork. So like it's got this, so this is more like an asp, but huge because I know asp snakes have this coloration, I think. I don't, I'm not a big snake personata or whatever, like enthusiast. But uh, anyways, it, I just love how this snake turns out and I'm really impressed with how I did this. Usually I can't do details like this and I was happy with it. Hope you guys are too. There you go, folks. So the leader of the nymphs is painted. Please stay tuned for the actual minions. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you all in the next one.